Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial we are going to create a digital object counter. So we'll use the AR sensor or AR obstacle avoidance sensor to check if we have an object in front of it. Then we display the number of objects under this LCD display. For now we have zero. And if I put something in front of it, we have one, two, three, and so on. And you hear the buzzer as well. And this project has a reset feature. We have this push button. If I click on it, as you can see, we have the count zero again. So before we get started, consider subscribing to our channel. That helps me a lot. And let's jump right into it. So in today's project, you will need an Arduino board, the LCD display that comes with the I2C module, which is easy to use. You're going to need this AR sensor, or it's called AR obstacle avoidance sensor. We could use it to detect objects by emitting some kind of infrared light. Also, you will need a buzzer. So this is called an active buzzer, which is easy to use. You could turn it on by sending 5 volts. And to be able to reset everything, we're going to use this push button. If we press it, we're going to reset the counter. And I want to mention that I've talked about each of these components in one of my previous videos. Make sure to check them out. First, let me show you how to download the project file with the circuit. You could go to this link, which I'm going to add it under the video description. This repository has the sketch, which is Arduino object counter dot Eno file, as well as the circuit. You could go to code, then download it as a zip file. And once you do that, let's click show in folder. Then we need to extract it using right click, extract here. And it's the same process if you are using Windows. Here we have our project folder. Let's open up the circuit. As you can see, we have all of the connections. First, we're going to create a ground rail and a 5 volts rail because we have lots of components like the AR sensor. It has three pins. The VCC goes to the VCC. The GND goes to the GND. Then we can check if we have an object in front of it using the output pin. I'm going to connect it to the digital pin number 2 so that we can use the digital read command and check whether we have an object or not. And each time we detect an object, we're going to increase a counter that we're going to display under this LCD display and activate the buzzer. So this buzzer has two leads. The positive lead goes to the digital pin number three and the other one goes to the ground so that we can turn it on and off using this pin. The same thing for the push button, we have two leads. One of them goes to the GND and the other one goes to the digital pin number four so that we can check if we have pressed this push button. And if you don't know how to use it, make sure to check out the video about the push buttons. I've talked about the easiest way to use them. And finally, we have the LCD display that comes with the I2C module, which is controlled using four pins. The GND goes to the GND the VCC to the 5 volt pin. Then we have the SDA and the SEL. The SDA goes to the digital pin A4 and the SEL needs to be connected to digital pin A5. Also, we need to install the Liquid Crystal I2C library so that we can use this LCD display and print the number of objects that we have. So without any further ado, let's try to implement this circuit. And that's pretty much it. Now we could move on to the Arduino IDE so that we can upload the code. Before that, let's connect the USB cable. First of all, you need to install the liquid crystal underscore I2C library. This is not a built-in library. You could go to tools, then manage libraries. The same thing, I've talked about this liquid crystal I2C library and how to use it to control the LCD. 
you simply need to search for the same name. Then let's go down below. It is this one, Liquid Crystal I2C. For me, it's already installed. Then we've created an LCD object. The type is Liquid Crystal underscore I2C. I've called it LCD. This LCD object takes three parameters. The first one is the address of the I2C module. For me, it's 0x3f. It could be 0x27. Then we enter the number of columns and the number of rows. This LCD display has 16 columns and two rows. That's the second parameter. So you could even use other LCD displays that has different sizes. Then we've added the pins like the AR pin, which is number two. The buzzer pin is number three. And the button pin is connected to digital pin number four. Then I've added two more variables. The first one is an integer. I've called it n equals zero. So this is the number of objects. By default, it is zero. Also, we need to keep track of the old value of the AR sensor. That means this sensor outputs one and the new value equals zero. Then under the setup function, We've initialized the LCD display, then we've added the pin modes. We use the AR pin as an input to read the voltage. The button pin is actually an input, and we have two kinds of inputs for a push button. We have the pull up, which means we read one if we don't press this push button. And once we click on it, it returns zero. And finally, the buzzer pin is used as an output so that we can turn it on and off. Under the loop function, each time, we are displaying the count message at the first line. So this will move the cursor at the column 0 and the row 0 and print this count value. Then we can check if we read 0 and the old value equals 1. That means we have an object that is in front of the sensor. In such case, we change the old value to 0 because we've read 0 and we call this function count. This will basically increase the n variable by one and printing the value on the LCD display at the second line, which is zero, one. So one is the index of the second row. And here we are turning the buzzer on for 100 milliseconds each time we count a new object. Also, we have this reset function that we call each time we press the button, as you can see, if we read zero, that means we have pressed the push button. In such case, we call the reset function, which basically change the end value to zero and clear the LCD display and print it again. And that's pretty much it. So let's give this project a try. First, make sure to select the right board using tools. And under board, I've already selected the Arduino Uno because we have an Arduino Uno. And the port of the USB cable is this one. Then let's hit upload. And there you go, we have the LCD display with the text count. And each time I put an object in front of the sensor, the buzzer turns on and we have one. The same thing if we have two objects. So this project could be used in factories to calculate the number of pieces that is produced by this factory. And if I press the push button, we have the count zero again, and we can count again, one, two, and so on. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also consider subscribing to our channel. That helps me a lot to create new projects. And I will see you in the next one.